That pain and popping. That that <laughs> that pain and pop popper. My drip drop Drip drop it. Drip drop it. Denver sack, bitches. Me when I'm fucking a mini, I'm pain and popping. Gang gang. Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. Who brings one mint to a damn breath festival, brother? Dude, this Corona times. Huh? Corona what times. Can't be sharing What mints. are you keeping yeah, other mints at the house? Mints. Yeah, spread them out. Dude, six feet apart. You do seem like the kind of guy who would open up a can of mints at home and leave most of them at home so you don't have to share them. <laughs> Dude, that seemed like a total YouTube comment somebody would write. Brendan seemed like the kind of guy that would open up a thing of mints and leave most of them at home. Leave most at home? <laughs> yeah. What have you been doing, dude? What was the best YouTube comment that I ever heard? Some are uh, dog shit. Oh, so, fun- a lot of them are bad. Dude, but- the funniest one, I, I, <laughs> it, it's a little racist, but it's so funny. They said, Chappelle looks like Wesley Snipes in blackface. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with people? That's fucking good. What the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> Dude, that, that, that was it. That was on my Instagram. I've ne- I've never been on YouTube. That was on my Instagram comments. And you bring it up the one day he isn't here. I know. Well, we, we haven't talked about it. Sorry, Chappelle. The one day he isn't oh. here. That's when you bring the, it up, dude. The, what the, a snake, the man. Malibu, the Malibu Night Stalker's not here, dog. Yeah. I know, dude. Dishing that Malibu rum. Got the day off. Oh, he definitely, every time I see Chappelle, I think of the soldier eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, is it March 22nd? <laughs> yeah. uh, Got to start off with the fact that obviously Brennan looks just like his cartoon, dude. How weird is this going to get? Why do you think I dress like this, dog? <laughs> Identical. They got me a little thick on that cartoon, though. Your boy's oh, getting what? leaned up, bro. They got you looking all cute. You know damn well you weren't a cute kid. You need to tell Paul to make it a little more realistic, oh, dude. <laughs> that nose and shit. Bro, bro, what are you talking about? Dude, the... what are you wearing? Why are you wearing that headband again, dude? Dude, this is an activity band. This is a male activity band. It's a male activity <laughs> band? Yeah, dude. You look like you're in the worst 80s band, rock band of all time. I do? <laughs> yeah, AC Gacy. <laughs> <laughs> Aero the Dick. About Aero to... Dick, coming live. <laughs> I was about to cock. About to cock. Uh, dude, you look like a fucking hitman at a sperm bank, dude. You look like somebody that broke <laughs> Dude, you look like you give lap dances at a spelling bee. <laughs> hey, hey, can you use in a sentence? Yeah. Hey. I want the origin of the word. <laughs> origin of the word. Um. <laughs> That's all right. It was good. That's all right. We said F a couple times, though. No, we didn't. We didn't? No, Maybe dude. we didn't. We cut we down didn't. the profanity, awesome. like, apparently. YouTube. Uh, apparently, this show's for kids, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently, we do get actually hundreds of videos of people sitting here watching it with their children. <laughs> yeah, we do. Which Very is strange. extremely alarming. You do it, really? Uh, yeah. You're yeah, educational. We did. Imagine you were two teachers. The poor kids. Kid, kids would be lit. <laughs> How about everyone's like, damn, Ch- <laughs> Ch- Chappelle got a lot blacker. <laughs> uh, we got Mark here today, man. You want to introduce him? New? You want to introduce everybody to our uh, new culture corner? Yeah. Well, we got as you, the the usual suspect cat over here. Hey, cat. Hey, hey, hey. hey. And then we brought in, uh, put up the Irish flag. We got Mark Hayes in the house. Nice. The pride of where are you from, Mark? Cork. 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 Island. Cork Island. Yeah. And what is it exactly? <laughs> it's a city. What are Ireland. they known for? It's Northern Ireland, right? No, no, it's South. Don't yeah, yeah, nice that. try, dude. Uh, yeah. well, now Fifty yeah. percent. Hey, yeah. if, if this who wants to be a millionaire, yeah, you 50%. got it. And you got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wrong yeah, it's all good, dude. Oh, yeah, you're right, man. Good it's call. all good, dog. Yeah, good shoot call. or shoot. Yeah, dude, good we're call. For, I'm trying to think. We're known for cheese. Some good cheese. Yeah. Some good whiskey. Oh yeah. How, how are the ladies in Cork? Uh, I used to think they were bad, and now I'm like romanticizing it. They're not too bad. Oh yeah, yeah, they're pretty good. Grass is always greener on the oh, other yeah, side. Am insane. I right? Yeah. Now I'm like, oh, I'd love a girl with a personality. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, to, book, welcome yeah. to LA. Yeah, in LA or back in Ireland, I was like, oh, I'd love a girl with looks. Yeah. <laughs> it's always greener. 
looked different. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's, you got to come, you almost need to get a girl, some, like, you need to mix a girl from there and here somehow, you Oh, know? yeah, I'd say long distance is best. That's what I'm realizing. You think? Right? Like that's not, really long distance, though. That's like. Well, that'd be the longest distance. It's like 90 Day Fiance, dude. It doesn't oh, work yeah. out. It doesn't work out on that show. No yeah, one's from Ireland on there, ever. Because we're probably like, we're, we'd have too much shame to go on that. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there, there's some English people really? on there. Yeah. Some Brits. Yeah, they're kind of stupid. Are. And you said, so did you come here just to do comedy? I'm trying. Because yeah. I remember you just kind of showed up and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. This guy's nuts. Yeah, I, was, I was like, Chris is making too much money. You got a body double of him from Ireland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just comedy. I started writing books too. And then I got stuck right. What kind of books? Just about me being drunk in L.A. Did you? Your Instagram's yeah. hilarious, man. When you say all those things about the things you've heard from different chicks and stuff. Oh, yeah. It, it, I started great. like a blog when I first came here. Then like publishers were like, do you want to turn it into a book? Really? And then I wrote three. Yeah, they were like number one on Amazon and shit. Damn, man. I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because no one reads here, so it's pointless. Well, some people <laughs> well, read. Hey. Yeah. Hey. True. The northern half of the hey, show reads. Hey, <laughs> is it audible? Because Theo's going to miss that one. Look at it. It's good. Dude, Brennan's out of his mind, dude. Brennan's lucky I didn't fight in the UFC when he fought, bro. <laughs> yeah, I am lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Because it means anybody could make it. <laughs> oh, no, bro. I'm just saying, dude. If you would, if you would, if I was fighting, if I had chosen fighting path, when you were in there, dog. Yeah, what, dude? I'm just, what, dude? It would have been interesting, <laughs> dog. That's what I'm saying, dude. I would have met you at what 255. What could we have met at? Whatever you want, brother. 206 plus. <laughs> That's heavyweight. 206 plus. Oh, anything about 206? Yeah. It's fucked up. Two, I'll get it. I'll get. I could get to 207. 207. Yeah, yeah. 207. I don't know if you saw it, it's going to clear you, but you hit the 207. I could come in right at 207, dude, with a brick in the back of my pants. <laughs> I'd say you'd fight like a pikey, an Irish pikey. And, and how do they fight? They just don't give up. You have to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, got, you got Tyson Fury. He's a oh, gypsy. Oh, yeah, he's a gypsy. Have yeah. you seen the videos on YouTube where, like, it's the pikeys calling each other out? Yeah, it's nuts. Oh, it's, it's a different it's language, huh? Yeah. No, it's English. It's just broken. Yeah, it's very broken yeah. English. They'd be like, I tried to, I tried to poison you. You dirty scum. I'll find you again. Your dad. Yeah, it's like dads fighting dads, brothers fight. It's insane. It's awesome. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's also and awesome. If minutes. you enjoy bum fights. Yeah. They're not bum fights. Because these aren't bum No, right? I'm saying, no, it's way better. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know how big bum fight? Remember how big bum fights was? This is way better. Yeah. Because these dudes fight fight. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's no giving up. Like and they, it's you. It's usually it's usually like two cars parked at night. The lights are on. Have you seen those? Yeah. Like, yeah is that more gypsy or is yeah. that pikey style? Pikey. Oh, here you go. Doherty calls out yeah, and what? messages That's to Pat how... Coyle. That's where you grew up in Ireland, though. It was always like a threat of fighting. Was it fun? It was fun, but you didn't want to fight a pikey because you're like, I have to lose badly. Otherwise, you're just going to keep coming yeah, back. Yeah, if you win, too, they'll just be like, oh, here's his older brother. <laughs> and if you kill him, what happens? Do you get anything? <laughs> yeah, you get a trophy. You get a trophy. No, you it's like uh, everyone th everyone thinks those gypsies look like Brad Pitt from Snatch. Yeah, they, they don't. don't yeah. all. Not all of them are shredded. Yeah, they look like Snatch. Yeah. <laughs> no, they look like a snack. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's intense. Yeah. Damn, bro. You got And you're going over there, man, whenever the world heals up. I've been there before. I, I, well, I was supposed to be in Cork in April, but then this disease happened. Oh, so yeah. uh, we'll be in there in April 2021, though, Cork. Oh, but funny. I did Dublin two years ago. Uh, uh, Chin went with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Time my life. We have tattoos from it. We do. Boom. What's up? Chin wanted that on his neck, and the guy wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did one on my neck. This guy Dublin was like, it. ain't happening. It's the first time you can't do it. I'm like, I'm so down to do it, but he wouldn't let me do it. You should get the whole King and the Sting crew on the back of your neck. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be sick. Or just the King and the Sting bolt. That'd be sick, too. The bolt's actually a good idea because I wanted something right there. Get the bolt, dude. Yeah, get the bolt. I, I also had Chin set up what? on his birthday, get tatted on what? his neck, and he punked out. I, I didn't punk out. It was a different person, but now your person, the one I was originally supposed to My do a tattoo in with, prison, Chin. he's in prison. So now. I can't book. So I can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> the other guy was legit too. Chin, oh yeah. You Chin wants some guy from Ink Master. I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah. It's just a neck tattoo. <laughs> just a neck tattoo. <laughs> yeah, dude. Just drive near a prison and have your car break down. You'll get one. Dude, your guy killed someone. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the car <laughs> killed him, but yeah. That's fucking dope as fuck. Oh my God. Uh, I guess I'll pound that, but I'm going to sting that. I yeah. mean, no, it's sad that the guy, someone passed away, yeah. but I'm saying it makes your tattoo harder, I feel like. Well, I was supposed to get, uh, so that crash happened, I think, on Saturday night or Sunday, and I was supposed to see Sunday. him on Monday. Oh. And I did text him that morning and said, 
Hey, we still on? <laughs> I didn't hear back. What nice. an a-hole, bro. Nice. Somebody like accidentally kills someone with a vehicle, and Brendan has the balls to text the guy in the morning. I, mean, I would still do Are my podcast. I would still do my <laughs> podcast. <laughs> bro, he's at a funeral, dude. Uh, no, he's not. He's getting <laughs> fitted for his uniform in prison, Theo. Oh, wow. He's going to be fine, though, because he can tap those boys up. Oh, that's a good point. I don't think he'll do any time, though. I really don't. If he has a good lawyer, he'll be all right. I hope he does time. No, <laughs> no. If he killed someone, Brennan, think about someone. Hold on, should, hold, hold on. Let's have them vote. Me and Theo. Let's say when Theo was drinking, when Theo was cool. When me and you <laughs> were drink, like, let's say we're drinking, right? Let's mm-hmm. say we go out after this, and we're both drunk, and I and you agree to get in my car, right? Mm-hmm. You get in my Porsche. I wreck that Porsche. You die. Should I go to prison, even though we both agreed to get in the vehicle and we've both been drinking? You were buying shots. I was buying shots. We both mm-hmm. agreed to this. Should I go to prison for life? Is that murder? This first of all sounds like I want to say Irish NASCAR. I do want to say that. <laughs> Second of all, is no, it? No, hold on. Let them. Let, just, that's a good question. It's a really good question. Should I go to prison um, for life? Cat, what do you think? Because it's not Mark, murder. What do you think? Manslaughter, by the way. In our, you probably hang yourself if you're in Ireland. I would be very upset. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, don't you? Sh- yeah, heavy lies the crown. I would not be happy. But I'm just saying, legally, should I go to prison for life? Nah, that's crazy. Is there a lot of shame in Ireland? Oh, <laughs> insane. What did y'all do? Just disappointed God. <laughs> yeah. Is it, but is Sinead O'Connor like the... I could see it. She's, she's like your North Star, right? She's yeah, like, she just goes She's like wild. your Will Smith. No, Jesus. She's your Will Smith. She's like our Britney Spears. Ooh. Ooh. We loved her. And then she grew so definitely crazy. a looks issue. It's definitely yeah, a looks issue. Back. Yeah, she looked legit crazy. She's still alive? Mm-hmm. I think yeah she's alright Dolores Keene died but yeah shame that's why I don't like sex coming shame flies in oh yeah I might be Irish then dude <laughs> yeah, it's I awful. don't even ejaculate anymore <laughs> yeah, I, I quit ejaculating probably two years ago oh, I'll do sex bro but I ain't coming bro that's for freaking children oh man you're ISIS <laughs> that's an ISIS rule not me dude I, you think? red white and blue I bust nuts yeah <laughs> really July 4th up in this bitch yeah. oh my god you old fashioned <laughs> mule <laughs> You're still ejaculating on people? Yeah, why not, dude? Oh my it's America, God, man. Bro. What? Six feet away, though. What are you freaking... <laughs> I'll wear a mask. I'm not an animal. <laughs> what kind of wet market are you starting, bro? You... <laughs> Who is still ejaculating in... on people in real time? Six feet away, bro. Yeah, well... I live by the rules. Don't be crazy. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, man. You got a dry dock, bro. No ejaculation, yeah. leave early. Nah, y'all some bitches. <laughs> oh, whatever, dude. <laughs> Mark, what have you been doing in this quarantine, dude? What would you say you do? I mean, because right at night you, ca- you kind of hang around, drink. I mean, uh, in the day you kind of hang around, drink c- iced coffee like Chris. <laughs> yeah, and, then, and then at night you do stand up at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, now That's just, gone. So yeah. what would you say you do? I've been writing sex poems, <clears> which <throat> sound weird, but like. You got one for us? Yeah, but they're long. Yeah, we don't want it. Yeah. <laughs> How long? <laughs> it's be... a poem. It can't be too it, no, long. It's, huh? it's an erotic tale. They paid my rent last month. They do? The erotic tales? Once I didn't they... know you could write like this. Oh, yeah. It's weird. I did it as a joke where, like Malibu was burning. Mm-hmm. And I saw people taking naked pictures on the beach being like, oh, I'm so sad. So I wrote this dumb poem. I call it a poem. It was like me being like, oh, I'm so sad. I'm so horny. I'm on the beach. <laughs> you look lovely. Malibu's burning. And did this whole erotic <laughs> thing. I'm as kind of a, into it. Man. I love that. Yeah. Like couples read to each other before they have sex. That's cool, that. man. Dude, I can't get hard near uh, kids? broken glass. No, and kids. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> TG on that one. But I'm yeah. going to say, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, broken glass. Somebody shatters a window or something. You're gone. Erection gone. <laughs> like it? that, bro. Like almost like my penis has ears. It's almost that, like. That might be some childhood trauma kind of coming back out, it could have you know? been maybe yeah i don't know but it's wild man i one time this lady threw a slipper like a hard slipper like a shoe like an ug at a uh window and b- shattered it and uh <laughs> game over game over dude that's my time yeah that's my time, <laughs> that's my time. <laughs> at least uh, you know. huh at least you know you know i'm glad i know some things man dude one thing right now health experts they're not always right which we've learned in this corona times but Mm -hmm. one thing they are right about Mm -hmm. a perfect diet doesn't exist man even when you're eating healthy balanced diet it can be tough to cover your bases so athletic greens went 
and they <laughs> deliver, dude. They, oh, they deliver. sound that green horn. They sound dude, that green horn. That baby. green horn drops that athletic greens right in your little stupid mouth. Da- daily all-in-one health drink with 75 vitamins, minerals, whole food source ingredients. Mm-hmm. Makes it easy for you to start living right. Praise baby. God, baby, and praise others. I'm going to say this. Athletic greens includes prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, adaptogens, superfoods, and more. And more. What's in it? More. Oh, if it ain't green, it ain't green. That's right. Delivered baby. in powder form and mixed with water. Athletic Greens requires less capsules, has superior absorption, and doesn't include any binders or fillers. No, just the green that you need, yep. man. Fill in the gaps in your diet. Start living right. That's Corona right. doesn't stand a chance if you're healthy and green. Green up, hose down, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what I'm telling Doug. you is this, bro. I don't care if you live in Vietnam or Hawaii, baby. It's time to take care of your body. And uh, <laughs> did that finally break? Yeah, it did. I'm I'm too strong, dude. Dude. Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens, man. Whether you're taking steps to break your new chair or an athlete push for better performance, Athletic Greens takes the guesswork out of your good health. Uh, Why not just try it? Jump on over to athleticgreens.com slash KATS and claim the special offer. 20 free travel packs valued at $79 with your first purchase. That's athleticgreens.com slash cats. Good luck to you. Cheers. Oh, man. You know, uh, it's so funny, buddy. I noticed that flowers are blooming and the grass is growing. And it's time to mow your lawn. Oh, wow, dude. And you know what else ain't cool? What? Having a bush in the summer. Nope, dude. I mean, having a bush beer is good. But if you're having that that natural beer, that body bush... You know, it's you, like, we're talking about wearing George. You can't have a freaking Afro hanging out the front, dude. You got to start using Manscaped. It's the only men's brand dedicated to below the waist grooming. Mm-hmm. Yes, man. We're talking about that perfect package 3.0, young Theo. You got to trim up that front jack, man. That little semen whistle, bro. You got to trim it up. Yeah, the semen whistle, man. How about I give you some a crop preserver, the Manscaped crop preserver, anti chafing ball deodorant, right for them ball sacks, right for that sack, dog. Why don't you suck on my balls, Papa? Yeah. <laughs> If they're dry and you got some deodorant on them, we'll see, dude. For a limited time, subscribers get two free gifts. You guys get the travel bag and the high-performance anti-chafing Manscaped Boxer Brief. This is the perfect package for your package. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code KINGSTING at manscaped.com. That's right. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code KINGSTING. All one word. KINGSTING at manscaped.com. 20% 20% off from free shipping at manscaped.com. King Sting. It's spring cleaning, baby. Yeah, get that ding ling right. Here's a guy right here who looks extremely white. Let's kick it <laughs> off with Debate Club. Let's get into a little Debate Club here with a young fella. Have you seen the show before, Mark? You know what you're dealing with? Uh, just clips. I like the honesty, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to lie. I wanted to come in fresh. What up, guys? Got a little bit of Debate Club for you. It's that, hey, homie, shoot the six-pointer, or, hey, bud, take a slap shot. Canada versus Mexico. Ooh. Who's a better neighbor? Gang, gang, butt plugs. Ooh. <laughs> Canadians are so nice. They don't do much for us, but they're so nice. <laughs> they got the hottest chicks up north. Go to Toronto, go to Montreal, go to Vancouver. Ottawa. Winnipeg, the show just gaining on. tons of fans that Brendan's <laughs> losing right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bro, that would be a good name game, name places in Canada. <laughs> in Canada? It gets weird up there. Uh, they get That's the CFL, which one. actually hurts them. Uh, they should fight. I think they should fight here on American soil. Canadians? Yeah. Like, why can't you have them on Fight Island? Have 10 representatives from each, make it a 10 on 10? Like an Olympic type of thing? Yeah. I guess they, that's the Canadians are definitely nicer, and, and there's no cartel up there. A lot of Hell's Angels, but they're not going to fuck with you. Yeah, Mexico, well. yeah, we're about the cartel. They have more resources than anywhere, and they fuck it up. It's yeah. corrupt. They yeah, make great food though. They're kind of like Canadians a, got maple syrup, salsa for Mexico. You're just talking about the yeah. The, Mexico's like the off, <laughs> kind of the off white Africa a little bit. <laughs> it's dangerous. You go to the wrong part. Super dangerous. Oh yeah, remember the you zoo? Go on safaris. Remember the zoo? The guy tried to almost get us in, and they yeah, had the fires. And we were gonna do it. Yeah. And then the fire started, and then we passed. Thirty four hundred dollars, dude. Almost have a zoo. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're basically looking at Joe Exotics before it happened. Dude. Yeah. 
Joe and then and they had, yeah, literally a week later, <laughs> everybody involved in the deal was burned to the ground. They all died. So you definitely have more barbecues down in Mexico. I feel I, like they call uh, Irish the Mexicans of Europe. Why? Because oh, you guys wow. do like all the work? Catholic and just fun. Chancers, pikeys, we'll steal a gate, we'll sell it to you. That kind yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Good and they do a lot of asphalt over there. What else do you guys do? They have oh, a yeah, we do actually. Yeah. A lot of roofing. Gypsies are hilarious, though. They literally put an ad in the newspaper for a car. And if you want to buy it, they'll go and steal it and then sell it to you. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take us about seven, eight days, depending. Yeah. <laughs> One time my uncle saw an uh, ad in the newspaper, and he was in the window. It was his car. <laughs> and he's in the window doing the dishes. And he phoned the police, and the police were like, yeah, you don't want any, any part of that family. <laughs> Just let it go. <laughs> Dude, it sounds so much fun. It's the Wild West out there. <laughs> yeah, it's man. fun. Dude, yeah, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, God, Mexican girls are pretty hot. My wife is Mexican. My kids uh, are half Mexican. Yeah, dude. Mexican but just, boxers. <laughs> can't believe no he's not going Mexican. Listen, After all of that, he's like Canada. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's strange. That just hit me. That just hit me, man. Damn, bro. I'm telling you, bro, I'll come up to 235 and meet you, dog. If I was fighting back. Then. If you were fighting. That's all dude, I'm we're saying. We're going to have to get you on them supplements. <laughs> yeah, I know. After you got off the real world, you got real juicy, dude. You have to get that. You have to call up your boy. I would be gargling testosterone in the morning. Yeah. My teeth would be jacked. Um, dude, that's a tough one. Wow. Debate club, who's the better neighbor? Oh, that's that was the question? I thought it was who would win in a fight. No. <laughs> no, dude. Come on, man. Oh, who's the better neighbor? How do I neighbor? keep going back to fighting? <laughs> Canada's a pretty friendly neighbor. Canada's definitely the better neighbor. But and there's definitely more Canadian listeners. Yeah. I don't know our market in Mexico. I think we have a lot of Mexican American listeners. For probably. sure. Yes. But do they consider themselves Mexican or American? I guess it's I don't know, man. You can be both. You yeah. can be both, yeah. So, I would say I'd say let them fight. <laughs> <laughs> let them duke it out. Yeah, why don't they? <laughs> I think those I mean they sometimes they do. I mean, America you see a Canadian fight a Mexican all the time. America runs on Mexicans though. <clears throat> True. You know. Yes. We do. Undeniably. Yes. Like it's or for the most part. Um Jeeps. That's a tough one, man. Jeeps. <laughs> what do you think, Kat? Um I'm gonna have to say Mexico. I grew up in San Jose with nothing but Asians and Mexicans, so I can't go ca Canadian. Wow. I can't go Canada. And do Asians and Mexicans get along with each other? We either don't get along and it's terrible mm -hmm. or we're the best of friends. It's one mm -hmm. or the There's other. There's no middle ground? There's really no middle ground. Like I grew up and like I was cool with all the Mexicans that I grew up with, but Chin had a terrible experience. Oh, because yep. Chin was in Texas. No, not Mexicans. just Texas. When I moved here, I lived in Santa Ana. My parents are still in Santa Ana. And Santa Ana is straight up. That's Me like Mexicanville? Cholo heaven, yeah. Wow. And they, yeah. they were mean to you, Chin? And very mean. Is it because you were a giant Korean in their city? A GK? <laughs> probably. Probably. A fat, chubby Korean. You were 300 pounds. Yeah. Now, is that their fault? No. 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 <laughs> still no reason to beat me up. But, yeah, there's no reason to beat him. I mean, and you could beat him once. Stuff. They would don't... beat you up and steal your stuff because you were big and fat? Uh, no, Maybe just because I was Asian. Because he was I Asian. Think, yeah. Wow. But stole skateboards, be... bikes, fishing equipment. To be fair, you told me that Vietnamese people did that to you too. So true, I don't yeah. know if it's necessarily like a maybe Mexican I'm just, Asian thing. <laughs> maybe I just get into trouble. I don't know. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's me. I mean, not to say that, but There's it's one like common de de denominator. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I, I was, feel you. I got you. I had your back. You, yeah, no, you were helping me with that. I was you coming there, in with uh, I'm a mater <laughs> yeah. right there. I was going to hit you with yeah. that. Maybe it was good, though, because he looks good, though. Thank you, bro. Yeah. So, like, you lost maybe, all that yeah. weight. So maybe they, you know. He Thank God of, for them. He yeah. reminds me of like kind of like an Asian Doug Funny a little bit. Like, What's Doug Funny? <laughs> What's Doug Funny? Huh? The cartoon. He doesn't know. The Doug oh, I don't, Funny. I don't, I've never heard of it oh. either. Doug Funny. We bring him up. Yeah. Doug, Doug Funny. What was he on? Doug Funny. He's Nickelodeon. Like a He's like a drawn man cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> on a, he had his own TV show. It was yeah, a cartoon. He did. It was a kind of. Oh, uh, Doug. Oh, yeah. that Dude, guy? you just call him Doug. Don't you drop his last name? Oh, his name's sorry. Doug. That's a good call. Yeah, <laughs> good call. Yeah. Dude, man, I do. Well, my eyes are one. kind of beady, so I don't see that, man. I think you have beautiful eyes. Thank you. Mm. That was actually big in Ireland, Doug. Beautiful eyes. Oh, the <laughs> Doug. <laughs> Doug was big here too. too but yeah. Doug was big here. Yeah, Doug was good, huh? Yeah, Nickelodeon Doug. Why did people? A lot of people hated on it, huh? People. Some people called him a wigger too. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> was he? Was he like real shy and super friendly? 
Yes. And there's Patty. Patty's a real cunt, right? Was she always like cock teasing them all the time? I think she was. Uh, she might have been Dutch or something. Maybe I, this, that's the whole crew there. Click on the whole squad. His brother was green. Remember? That threw me off. <laughs> there's his blue friend. Oh, the bully. Pork chop. It was yeah. the dog. Yeah, pork chop had a. I liked him. Wow, that was good. Yeah, that was a good show. That was a great cartoon. Um, in Ireland, do you guys uh, w- do you have different? Who's y'all's arch nemesis? What, like what? England? Yeah, yeah, Brits. Yeah. All the time, because they stole everything from us. You guys still think you have the best? Uh, but you guys are stealing like it back whiskey? apparently one car at a time. It yeah. sounds like. Yeah, you can see why they don't like yeah. you. Guys. Yeah, whis- yeah, they're stealing their stuff then selling yeah. it. Back. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. You are you a big whiskey guy? Like Jameson? Uh, yes, he is, dude. But you know what? I I, I wasn't. Well, I drink whiskey, but when we do shows, I drink whiskey. I don't yeah, see you drinking vodka. whiskey. I come here and people got me into Guinness and whiskey because they're like, "Do a whiskey shot." You're Irish, and eventually I'm like, "All right, I don't really care." <laughs> yeah. But like I'll drink a drink if someone hands it to me. Oh yeah, which is dubious. Do you feel like you're letting your people back home <laughs> yeah. down? But I was drinking too much Guinness and I was getting chubby. Oh yeah, yeah, so Brendan. I, yeah, so yeah. Brendan, I need some. How'd you lose the weight? Um, yeah. Get on a get a bicycle, dude. That's <laughs> Brendan's new thing. Join the thick boy bike club. Yeah, dog. you know how many fat kids have gotten hit by cars on bicycles the past month? Of <laughs> a ton. <laughs> But they're losing weight. Yeah, they are, dude. But they're losing Good weight. Car, right. They might break their jaw and they can't eat, but either way, they're losing weight. That's true, dude. What about the guys who killed the fat kids? They're all in jail now <laughs> because of Brendan. They're probably, all, they're probably drinking whiskey. It's full circle, dude. But should they be in jail, which brings us full circle. <laughs> that kid got on the bar. original question. We never answered your question. What was, it? What was the question? If you and I went out drinking, we both agreed to get in the car. Whether you're driving or I'm di- driving, and you crash or I crash, and one of us dies, yeah, should you go to prison for murder? If I'm conscious, now here's the here's the point: is if I'm conscious and I make the choice, because then I'm really saying if I'm conscious enough to know, you know, we've been drinking, we're both we've, drinking, we've, right? We've been buying each other shots all night. I'm almost saying, hey, I don't want to take the risk. You take it. So part of me is really, you know what I'm saying? No, like, not really. It's like, yeah, we're going to go to this party. You've been drinking. I've been drinking. Let's jump in this ride. Right. But but still, it's like <laughs> if we're both, say if we're both wasted, right? Yeah. And we know we both probably shouldn't be driving. Then at that point, if I say, all right, man, yeah, you drive. It's almost like me kind of wimping out. It's like me saying. I'm with you on this too. <clears throat> We've like, done that before. Have you with your friends? I've done it before with my friends. I've done it. We're both drunk and yeah. my buddy's like, hey, I'll drive us. And I'm like, fuck, we both need to get there. <laughs> yeah, but my, my, the point is we both agreed to get in the vehicle. Right. Knowing we're both under the influence. Yeah. So you, know, you, you have to take some responsibility for it. Agree, so I agree. Do I. No matter what happens, right. we should both take responsibility for it. Well, well, isn't the responsibility that one of you guys died? What in, do you mean? In the but that was the risk we both took because yeah. we could have both died. It yeah. just so happened, for whatever reason, I didn't hit the tree, Theo did. Mm-hmm. Or vice versa. But and we both took that risk. He just got the shit end of the stick. And also... <laughs> and also, No pun intended. And also... I don't think there was a pun there. <laughs> stick <laughs> tree? Oh, yeah. Damn, bro. <laughs> also... Nick was on that tree? monster. <laughs> what? Your tattoo artist also hit a tree. He hit a tree, yep. Mm. Mm-hmm. But what I, no, I'm saying is, and, I, and I'm kind of like in a, it's, it's not even like against what you're saying. I'm just saying like, say if we're going to get in a car and I say, hey man, yeah, if I'm like thinking in my head, oh cool, I don't want to drive. I don't want to risk me getting a DUI or mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. I'm going to let my buddy drive. Yeah. Then it's almost like me say, it's like. But you know the risk. Okay, no, I that's agree. Not the point. It's almost like, you know, I'm agreeing with you. I almost know oh, word. more. It's almost like I'm, I'm like. You know the repercussions. Like, dude, if you get pulled over, you get a DUI, you're going to jail. Don't right. You? And your buddy's, if my buddy's like, hey, who should drive? And I'm like, if in my head I'm doing the math, I'm like, well, shit, oh, you yeah. should. Yeah. I already you know? got one. Yeah, yeah, I already got one strike, son. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm already dressed like I'm going to jail. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm already dressed like I'm going to prison at Eddie Bauer. <laughs> so I might as well fucking. <laughs> You're already dressed like Andre Agassi is going to be your bunk mate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually true, too, because that means you're more sober. It's really, it's interesting. And you're not drunk. It. You're like, I can do it. Yep. It's, it, a, it's a weird, it's, it's a fucked it's up clever. argument, man. I stood up with my brother when we were drinking when we were young. <coughs> we were both hammered like 14. And, uh, I thought he was going to say four, didn't you guys? I thought he was going to stop at four. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you, I got to tie my lace. You go home first. And he'd be drunk. And he'd walk in and my mom's like, you're drunk again. And then, and then I'd walk in and I'd be like, oh, I can't take him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine Brendan showing up to your funeral too on his bike. 
And he's just like, ah, could have been me. And so he goes off. <laughs> My mom used to have me blow into her. You know, when you get enough DUIs, they used to force your car to have those things where you blow into it so oh, you can't yeah. drive drunk. Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I was like, hey, I'll blow on this. It was fun for me, you know? But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's crazy, crazy man. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of trauma coming up today. <laughs> A lot Brendan's of trauma mom here, dude. There would have been a hell of a lot of trauma at 255, son. That's all I'm saying, boy, okay? All right, Pete. You're going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. Damn. Brendan's blowing in breathalyzers, bro. I thought and it was a fun game. He blew a high calorie, it said. <laughs> it's like, okay, you can drive, but. He blew but... 36 grams of sugar. <laughs> yeah. You can drive, but it gives you directions not to pass any bakeries on the way home. <laughs> Um, wouldn't that be crazy in the future of cars if whenever you blow into the breathalyzer it like knows how you what you need like physically and stuff for vitamins and everything oh, yeah. and it takes you on a path that keeps you out of the out of like that'd be cool be like, a lot less fat people around any fast food or anything maybe or they'd be like fuck that dude <laughs> don't they kind of have fridges like that like your fridge knows when you're lo running low on stuff and yeah, oh, yeah like, they have those yeah, you, yeah they yeah. order it directly yeah, I'm all, but Mexicans, man, if you, I'm saying Mexicans, I think, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I want to go with Mexicans. I like Canada more than Mexico. <laughs> my wife is Mexican. My kids are half Mexican, but I'm drawn to the Canadians, man. I love yeah. Canada, dude. It's fun They're up there. They're so friendly. Vancouver's great. <laughs> JFL's up there. Yeah. The grass is always greener, huh? It's always greener oh, yeah. on the other side. Wayne yep. Gretzky's Canadian. The grass is, but the grass ain't getting mowed, bro. If you don't go Mexico, you know what I'm <laughs> that's kind of a cheap joke, but yeah. um, fence, I think hey, that fence isn't getting painted if I don't go Mexico. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you that. That's a tough call, man. It's such a tough call. Are there any Mexican Canadian people? That's got to be a rarity. I'm sure, yeah. but probably, but not, probably twenty. But not too many. There's a lot of uh, Native Americans in Canada. Yeah, is there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. a lot of them ran up to Canada when everybody was killing them down here. A lot of them were uh -huh. from there, though. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. it used to be all just one big place, you know? Oh, it yeah, used yeah, to just yeah. be a bunch of Indian people, Indian or Native American people running around being like, oh, fuck, we're lost, you know? Yeah. Canada, then, Canada has a lot of Hells Angels. Does it? It's, it depends how you look at it. I won't say it's a problem, but they got a lot of Hells Angels up there. Like one of the biggest chapters is up there. I mean, I will say loud mufflers are a problem, so I'm going to go with, <laughs> yes, a huge distraction. <laughs> yeah, that you is know? an issue. Nothing ruins homework, right? Chan, like a fucking <laughs> a muffler. Some loud, loud muffler, muffler going by, which must be a problem in you guys' community. That's insane that in the Asian community, you guys <laughs> do uh -huh. homework and also drive the loudest muffled vehicles. So yeah. Fast and furious. <laughs> which you... makes it so hard to fucking focus on anything. But pressure makes diamonds. Ooh. That's why we do so well. Nice. Preach. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Who's this young fella? He looks like he's a Canadian Mexican. <laughs> oh my God! What if he is, bro? <laughs> Doesn't he? What up, world? This is Dylan representing Wisco and now Santa Monica. Woke up this morning and read Chuck E. Cheese changed their name on Grubhub to a name I can't even pronounce, and it got me thinking. What a perfect Rat King debate! Who's a better rat, Chuck E. Cheese or Mickey Mouse? Ooh. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Now, let, let me, I'm going to be a little biased because when I was a, a young man, when I was in eighth grade or seventh grade, I lived next door to Chuck E. Cheese. And then this gentleman named Nathan Dunlap from my high school right, decided Pete. to murder everybody in the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> and that's where I used to hang out. Really? So what? Chuck E. Cheese is Satan's lair to me. <laughs> I would never step foot in there again. And it's evil. What? So Mickey Mouse for the win because Walt wow. Disney... And Walt Disney World is fantastic. That's Nathan Dunlap, Overland High School Trailblazer alumni. Dude, that guy looks like nothing Dunlap, dude. That guy shot up a Chuck Cheese, What, year, what year was that? Yeah, dude. He's on death row. Well, I, me I remember there's hell at... He's doing on... music now? No, 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 no. I think they put him... Up <laughs> no, he's oh, he's actually on death row. Oh, dude, yeah. Dude, they found him right away. I'm going to see misleading. Go. Um, um, I, look, dude, first of all, I'm going to say di the Mickey Mouse, bro, is basically, 
no one has been extorted more, taken adv- not extorted, that's the wrong word. No one has been taken more advantage of mm-hmm. than Mickey Mouse. Bro. 93, I was 10. Here's the thing about Mickey Mouse, though, too. Walt Disney kind of glorified Nazi. He was a Nazi kind of activist. I don't know if people know that about Walt Disney. Oh, really? Yeah. That's not an Eddie Bravo conspiracy. That, yeah, it's yeah. facts. Yeah. Still makes great cartoons and some magical plays, but. Yeah. Well, yeah, he had some different hobbies. <laughs> but, <laughs> we ain't just talking about cartoons. <laughs> but bro, you don't get one, one great thing without the other. That's the thing. There's Give two, or take, dog. Give there's, or take. There's two sides of the totter, bro. I'm going Chuck E. Cheese, bro. First How of all, dare you after the story I just told you? <laughs> yeah, you. When did you go to Chuck E. Cheese? You bail out on everybody that dies, Brendan. Okay. <laughs> when did you go to the Chuck E. Cheese? The guy died in the car at the tattoo shop. He, you're. Screw that guy, Nathan Kaplan or whatever that fuck tard's name was. Dumb laugh. <laughs> Sorry, F tard. No, that's fine. He, he kills three people, and now you're not going to have pizza anymore. Way more than three. Yeah, no, I'm not going back there. <laughs> well, they shut crazy. it down. They turned it into a super salad place. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because that's all this was left of people after he shot them up. Probably <laughs> too much, dude. Sorry. Hey, how, how about also Chuck E. Cheese some bullshit with those mechanical, like, plants. They're like, eh, eh, and they looked all crazy with their fucked up eyes. And they come out every 30 minutes. That was the show. And they'd have this fucking trash pizza, dude. What? The pizza was shit. That's why no one was buying their pizza. They changed the names. Look at that. You know how traumatized that is as a young kid? <laughs> this is, uh, huh? Look this at that shit. That's Chuck. There's Pasquale. Put a little effort into those goddamn dolls, man. There's Munch right there. That's Munch's make-believe band. That's what they're called, first of all. Well, Brendan, what, you, what you're missing here is the entrepreneurial spirit. <laughs> no, I'm not, dude. Chuck E. Cheese was on <laughs> fucking meth. Look at his eyes, dude. This was going to be the next Disneyland. Okay, you don't think this guy had aspirations? You don't think he had a plan? And then Nathan Dunlap said, hold my AK-47. Yeah, and then it's F Tards, like Nathan Dunlap, dude, who I hope gets the electric chair. And he (laughs) walks into the place and shoots up the entertainment while some kids are having a birthday. Yeah, I think he he worked there and they fired him. You try selling bad pizza in every trap house neighborhood in America and see if it ain't hard to do. It's easy to be Diz Mickey Mouse when you got Well, they started somewhere, dude. Walt Disney didn't start off fucking... With just a Donald Trump investment. But, he no, started he, from nothing. I, I, I think Walt Disney and obviously. created a goddamn world, son. Disney World? Yeah, I've heard of it. <laughs> what I'm saying is, though, is that it's you just, you're missing the underdog spirit, man. Here you got a guy selling horrible pizza in shitty neighborhoods the worst pizza. while kids are crying, dude. Yes. Kids are crying. <laughs> the place is filled with COVID. Yeah. They had the ball pit just filled with SARS and shit. Oh, I remember finding a piece a of somebody's track. scalp in the ball pit that one time. <laughs> and But I'm saying, man, you're missing the entrepreneurial spirit. I'm going with Chuck Cheese's, oh, bro, till I die, dog. Bro, dude. <laughs> Disney, you, dude, you get you, you get stuck over there in line. There's 700 people in line. Everybody likes Disney World. It's freaking so Latino. Hey, man. Hey, Mickey. It's not, no, it's not Mexico, Disney. Hey, Mickey. Shoot the six pointer, huh? Pass it to Donald. Hey. Donald Swillow was our dad's name, Ricky. <laughs> what I'm saying is, bro, you get mucked over there. It costs you thousands of dollars to get your freaking chubby kid through 900 <laughs> lines. You get sunburned, sunstroke. Yeah, dude. Grandma doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, dude, and Chuck E. Cheese is $7. <laughs> and you walk away with SARS, bro. Huh? Or you get murdered. Yeah. There's never been a shooting at Disneyland. Yeah, you take a chance. Let's go to Ireland. What do you think, man? <laughs> is Chuck E. Cheese real? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a real piece of shit. That's what oh I literally looks... Brennan doesn't know about business, dude. It's not a real piece of shit. It's an up and coming. Dude, I grew up next to one, you <laughs> fuck. Yeah. And there was one. You went when you were older. Does it count? Go when you're a kid. It's traumatizing. I went when I was a kid. I was sick to my stomach when that bullshit pizza. And those, yeah, dude, my cousin got his freaking arm stuck in the back of the mouse. Okay, dude, Disney Disneyland does real work. There's actual fucking human beings in those suits all day, hundred degree weather. Go to Disney World. They're sweating. They're sweating. Human sweating. beings, bro. Yes, there are. But I will also say it is a nesting ground for young gay men who are using drugs and meeting up in Florida and Southern California. That's not a Disneyland. To hide behind costumes. To do sex with each other. This is a good part. And drugs, Chin. <laughs> <laughs> Chime in, dude, or get out, Chin. Yeah, man. 
I'm looking at you sit there to... and you just pussyfoot through it all, okay? What are you talking about? With your banjo and your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Take a side. Take a side, you MF. When I, I remember going to Chuck E. Cheese, I remember the, the mascot had like a tube coming out of it. And yeah, it freaked dude. me out. It's called cords, yeah. chin. No, it's like yes. shit. Dialysis. It's, it's called cutting budget, <laughs> nice. dude. No, no, it's a firm to breathe. You want cords, you want real cheese, but you can't have both. Because they were gas powered in the beginning. That's a choke. That's a choke on it. That's the only problem, bro. You guys have. It was gas powered and the fumes ran in the goddamn ball pit. How do you think I turned out so fucked up, man? Because I spent my summers at Chuck E. Cheese. That was your own. No, you did that on your own. No, I okay. didn't. My mom yes, would drop did. us off, yeah, dude. If I drop us off, I mean, we'd walk across the street. So Culture what? Corner, what do you guys think, man? I can't handle any more of this. I feel, I don't know what a K hole is. I can't even mean K-hole, but it looks like Chuck E. Cheese. It is, dude. And I'm down for Chuck E. Cheese now. Theo sold it to me. That sold yes. it? Look yeah. at him. He would definitely a, be a my yeah. Chuck e. Cheese. I told you Chuck E. Cheese had a mass murder. And he sold it? He One mass murder. Yeah. yeah, well, why don't you take your baby to freaking Disneyland where an alligator will eat him? Oh, no, he won't. Yes, he will. Chin, it happened. It Remember, it happened. That happened. The dude let the kids swim in the fucking waters of Florida. That's not a Disney problem. <sighs> Would, that's a Florida problem. Wouldn't happen oh. in Chuck E. Cheese. Wouldn't this happen in Chuck E. Cheese. Yes, because <laughs> they can't afford oceanfront property. <laughs> that's not yeah. the point. You know, we're about to kick him molesting in the ball pit and then eating bullshit pizza, man. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese is for fucking terrorists. I'm, all, I, I'm going to Chuck E. Cheese after this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You need a kid. Yeah, you can't go without a kid anymore. <laughs> that's creepy. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll you... just fight one there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you can't go without a kid anymore, which I'm... is insane. <laughs> you can. It also makes a lot of sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, but here's the thing, bro. Yeah, because if you the last guy that came without a kid shot everybody in the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> facts. He Those are facts. Dude, Those are facts. He had, you gotta have a kid, man. He had a gun, and they pretended it was a kid. It was a gun in a kid shoe around the butt of the of an AR, and they're like, "Oh, that kid's real skinny." <laughs> I'm a skinny kid, man. Imagine you walked into a Chuck E. Cheese and he's sitting on his own eating a pizza. Yeah, no kid that was sun. my summers, man. I can easily Nathan imagine. Nathan that. Dunlap said, "No more summers for you, bud." <laughs> He was saving you from doing something dark. Yeah, That's he might what be he right, was dude. Doing. <laughs> Who's this fucking alley cat well, Thor up Cat, there? what do you think? Let's get one more. Well, I grew up in San Jose where there is the biggest Chuck E. Cheese in the nation. Mm. And so it was like this crazy two-story Chuck E. Cheese. It was mm. great. But at the same time, I feel like kids were getting kidnapped left and right there. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's a sex so, trafficking scheme. Yeah, I'm sold. Talk about business. I'm all in on Chucky. Yeah. I'm all in. Man, fuck y'all. Y'all a bunch of creeps, man. Why don't you Anybody who says Chucky e. Cheese is a goddamn pedophile. You should open Oh Chucky e. Cheese is in Ireland. <laughs> Chucky O Cheese. That would be the best. Yeah. Oh cheesy. Chucky O Cheese, he said. That'd be the oh, best. Oh cheesy. That'd be a dope business, <laughs> dude. All the uh, priests are working in there. So now, hey, what the fan let's let the fans debate it. What'd they say? 74% Mickey. Yeah, because they're not fucking pedophiles. I want to. I'm with the other 20. I, thank you. And I'm going to say one out of four fans or listeners chose uh, Chuck E. Cheese's out of respect. Dude. 75% <laughs> chose Mickey Mouse. 75%. Well, it's a different amount, but. Three I don't out know. of four. Okay. Fine. Here's what we learned. That's because a lot of our proprietary characters. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bre yeah. Brendan, Brendan's a Nazi sympathizer. That's what we've learned. Yeah. Just because it's Apparently popular. Apparently, you guys are up for mass shootings. As long as the pizza's good. Y'all a bunch of bitches, man. Bro, I, I can't even look at you the same. Man. Chuck E. Cheese. Bro, I think the you guy. You say that around a kid from Aurora? I, What's wrong with you, man? I think Nathan Dunn laughed. He's like, they're like, yeah, it's right down the corner. There's a bunch of people. There's a bunch of people that are dressed shittily eating pizza inside. I bet he was trying to go into your home, bro. That's what I think, dude. That's fucked up. You need to look up the case. It was after hours. He got oh. fired and shot all the employees. Did he really? Damn, y'all a bunch of fucking bitches, man. I hate that kind of stuff. Have you ever heard what the Nazis have done, Brendan? <laughs> Not well, to, not in America, not to fucking Disney World and Disney. But the Nazis did it on a bigger scale. Basically, the Nazis are or Nathan Dunlap, <laughs> but more a larger group. That's why. You, that's why you have to go with. Hit, hit me with this young looking <laughs> Thor up here. Yeah, get me with this thought. What's up, Brandon? What's up, Theo? Just got done running, running. In Greenway here in Smithfield, North Carolina. 
I got a, a debate club for you. So when you go running, you're going to put your uh, keys and phone in your wallet, mm -mm. all up in your, your pants and your pockets, mm -mm, be that be that bulgy pocket bozo, <laughs> <laughs> or uh, you're going to make them honeys drip, drip when you put it all in your panty dropping, poom popping <laughs> fanny pack. You have to think about that one. <laughs> What's it going to be, boys? Fanny it. pack of pockets. He did it. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, young Thor. Good run, bro. <laughs> Dude, that was a nice run. It was, it was, he got through it, but he it was a struggle it. a little bit. That, he got a little muddy there. That panty popping. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that panty popping, popper. My pum, drip, pum, drobity. Pum. <laughs> <laughs> pum. Drip, <laughs> drip, <laughs> drip, <laughs> Denver <laughs> sack. Bitches. <laughs> Me when I'm bucking them in the pain and popping. Mm. I, I can't. I you know how some people have OCD. My OCD. I can't have things in my pocket. If you notice, whenever I sit down somewhere, look at all the shit I have out. I always lay, lay shit out, and then when I ride my bike, uh, Think Boy Bike Club, I get a fanny pack. We're gonna do Think Boy fanny packs. That fanny Ooh, packs. That's cool. I put mm. keys. Put my nicotine in there. I get the gel packs. <laughs> put my cell phone cords, and you hit them trails. Bro. Damn. <laughs> It seemed like fun. I, here's what I do. I do something that a normal person does. I hide my keys in the woods near where I park. You <laughs> That's how your shit gets stolen, huh? son. No, I lost Especially my... Especially your Jeep. I did lose my keys, actually, once in Baton Rouge. I hit them <laughs> and forgot where I hit them. That's hilarious. Uh, but usually I, I put them in the tire well or I'll put them in the woods nearby under like That's some... some uh, stupid shit, man. Do you do that before you park at Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dude, I'm not running with a bunch of keys on me, dude. Like I'm a janitor in a fire, bro. Get a fanny pack, dude. I'm not getting that. <laughs> All right. We, we do that in Ireland, too. When we left the house, we just find a bucket of stones and just put our keys in there. Callan did that and the <laughs> shit got stolen just a few weeks ago. Really? Yeah, he left that bit, left the keys in the car. Some dude from Venice went, oh, cool, look at this gay Prius, and then stole it, and <laughs> no then Callan found it had crack pipes in it, and he found a bum sleep in the back. No way. Yeah, so learn from Callan's mistakes, y'all. <laughs> Bro, it would take forever to do that. Hey. <laughs> uh, we, we don't have, we're not on Earth long enough to yeah. learn from his mistakes. Yeah, this is a one-hour show, baby. <laughs> um, would you rather use for a jug pockets? I, I, pockets is crazy. Anybody that wants a bunch of stuff on you them while they're running. You lose all your shit, man. Yeah. yeah. Damn, yeah. but pockets, 53% said pockets. People are too scared to look gay. Listen, dude, fanny packs, they're not gay. It's a movement, man. Yeah. See, but if you're a girl, you can put it in your chest pocket. Put it oh, in your you're bra. talking about that titty, mm -hmm. that titty pocket. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. That the tit pockets. That little tit mitt. Yeah. That's a thing. Mm -hmm. well, that's it a big is. thing. Yeah. And well, you, if you have big enough boobs, sometimes it slips. Them really flat-chested hoes can't do it, but you got some tits on it. You can hide anything in there, really. Yeah. Do you, do they, do people jog in Ireland? It doesn't seem <laughs> oh, like Oh, we run in the rain, just around muddy fields. Really? Yeah, it's insane. Wow. And there's some old Are people very running. athletic in Ireland? Yeah, but we, like, a lot of You guys of always finish last in the Olympics. It's like you guys and, like, Sedan. Well, we're good yeah, even Tyson Fury. If you, if you watch Tyson Fury work out, it's like he's working out in his living room he's with yeah. kids. But he's from Manchester, right? Yeah, but he's got, oh, like, Irish he? roots, I think. But it's, our diet is so bad. We'll eat so many potatoes and just drink. Potatoes, Jameson. We're, like, chunky. We work out a lot to get skinny. Took, wow. I used to be fat. How I'm fat? Like, like, chubby. Give, give me a weight. How tall are you? Like six two. Okay. Mm, yeah. uh, I used to be like you'd know I had a big fat face. Oh, I was yeah. singing one time on TV and I came home. My gran was like, "Yeah, you're too fat." That's fair. <laughs> that was her only feedback. Yeah. Well, welcome to my Instagram. <laughs> um, <so> <laughs> <laughs> and then you just go running. Ch you know, Jim was almost three hundred pounds. Oh uh, yeah, almost. But, yeah. but like shame is good. Yeah. Oh, fat shaming works, dude. Yeah, People are like, dude, what's wrong with your fucking face? I'm like, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. And they use Theo's line. You got stung by a bunch of bees. I'm like, all right, dude, you come <laughs> something else. Theo's, that's Theo's. Yeah. That's how the bee thing started, really. <clears throat> yeah. I called you the Rat King from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and here we are. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, have you brought up Bjorn Bjork yet for Theo's look like? Oh, yeah, we'll throw it up there. Debate club. Uh, so, be with pockets. That's fucking insane, dude. I only noticed, too, speaking of pockets, when Brendan emptied his, he carries loose mints. Loose mints. Also known <laughs> like as... Like singular mints. No, no, they're nicotine pouches, dude. They're nicotine Very pouches. Very alarming. 
Yeah. <laughs> I got a drunk uh, there's problem. some Bjorn with the headband. Oh, a little bit. God, I can't believe you played with all that long hair like that. What do you do? Just tie I'm it back? I should get my hair cut in the garage tomorrow. Yeah, Down the way, there's people doing hair in the garage. Oh, uh, I let it, it floor. It looks good. Everybody doing hair these days. Um, Now, what about this? Uh, uh, let's talk about this then because um, we got to talk about something. But um, <laughs> What were you guys talking about? Oh, uh, this guy looks like an Irish model, this gentleman right here. <laughs> yeah. Is that Sinead O'Connor? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rage Against the Machine was looking oh, for a model. Gonna, this guy's going to <laughs> kill us kill all. Kill one of us, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully there's no Chuck E. Cheese wherever he's at. <laughs> uh, moving on to rip my, or sink my ink. Oh. What's up, Theo Vaughn? Dawn? What's, What's happening, bro? Brendan Balboa? My name is Garrett, <laughs> coming at y'all from White Trash America, Lawton, Oklahoma. Ooh. Got a little sink my ink for you fellas. You know? Got the area code, the Shady 580 on the arm by my best friend when I was 17. Got it in my dining room table. Mistake. Mom and dad were pretty happy with me about that one. <laughs> got your face tag at that J for Jesus, baby. Amen, oh. brother. Louis Vuitton on the stuff. Oh, shit. Uh, about to probably get them removed eventually. <laughs> decision. Uh, got the cult leader himself, Mr. Jerry Leto. Probably one of my favorite pieces right here. That's pretty awesome. good work. Looking wild. You got Venom. Got got the baby mama Harley Quinn on the arm too, boy. Yeah. Gotta have her. Little but uh, Joker love you guys, piece. man. The show kicks ass. Gang, gang, Buzz Lightyear. Buzz, gang. Buzz, young man. Yeah. He he went and skipped over that anarchy tattoo on his fucking dick root down there, <laughs> bro. But that means if you want some of his wiener, bro, you're getting some anarchy. <laughs> That's I mean, if a woman if she complained after like hooking up with him, you can't complain. If they have that right mm. there. Uh. You know, like, hey, uh, your honor, exhibit A, this <laughs> anarchy tattoo. You knew what you're signing Two up for. Two inches from my wiener. He kicked in my door. He doesn't need a key. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, that's original. That machine. shady 580, bro. I think that's one of the best things I've ever heard, man. Out of Lawton, Oklahoma. Tats Garrett. at 17 in your living room. Can <laughs> you sting it? Probably a hard sting. I've made some mistakes. Yeah, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say King it, man. I like that. I like I like bad tattoos that people have gotten. Some of these look pretty good, man. No, his are pre- those those Joker ones. The the cart the comic book Joker on his uh, rib piece there's pretty fucking legit. Yeah, he's got a couple of Jokers. Um, oh, he's a lot of Jokers. He has a, he has a Black Widow tattoo, which usually means you killed somebody in prison, but that's whatever. He has an Anarchy <laughs> tattoo. I'm sure he's a model citizen. He has face tattoos. The Louis Vuitton is probably the only Louis Vuitton in Oklahoma. That's whatever. This dude has definitely fist fought somebody at a Jimmy John's before. Did I dare you to talk shit about the Oklahoma Sooners around this guy? Yeah. Um... I, uh, look, man, I'm. Uh, I guess I'm just a little afraid to talk shit about the <laughs> tattoos. Uh, um, but I don't. Even, that one is a spider. I don't even think that's a. I think that's a real spider he has. That's just living. That's on, how good the work is on his peck right there. Uh, I wish you would have gotten some more of them dicey tattoos. He has some real shit on there, man. I like. I mean, what I like is I like the shady one from the beginning. I think being willing to let somebody else, unless you did it yourself, like just I like that old shady style. Like when I was growing up, people. People would get it with the little thing of ink and the took forever and the needle and it was no game plan, no stencil, <laughs> no straight lines. Yeah, somebody who didn't even who definitely can't even read or spell what they're writing. Your friends on all the fucking <laughs> Mountain Dew he can handle, <laughs> shaky hands, but you get it done one way or the other, man. That shady five eighty, uh, gang, bro, I like them, man. Thanks for sending them in, dude. Moving on, this is half debate club, half sink my ink. I feel like I've met this guy. <laughs> hey Brendan, hey Theo, we're here at Great American Ballpark. We got a king and her sting it for you. Getting matching tattoos three months into a relationship. Life rips. Oh, oh wow. Gang gang. Buzz buzz. You know what? The, the Sting it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Sting it, dude. Don't here, bring this shit the in here. You guys can get matching, like, you know, how people get hearts with initials or you uh, know, yeah. people get initials inside their lip and shit. Or like the infinity that. sign. Yeah, at least they didn't get on that gay shit. At least if they break up, life rips. That could be whatever. Yeah. I mean, you're not tied mm. to life rips to your man. Yeah. It's the worst true. when people get matched with that dude, it's tied, you know. It's like their name. You fucked up, son. Yeah. yeah. Life rips is cool. Life does rip around here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Three months in is nuts. 
Three months in is a little aggressive. Yeah, yeah that's the part that's aggressive, man. But I it's think. a tattoo that's not tied to her or him. That's and why it's smart. What I like is you can change it. If something happened, you could get life trips or uh, <laughs> you could get life. Life tips. Life. <laughs> life tips. Life rips. Life trips. Also, no, you can't get life tips. <laughs> You yeah, you could the, you could change it. Oh, you could you change, change the shit. Thing? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. The other thing is they decided <laughs> to go with the typewriter font, which I find interesting. Yeah, life dips, and you could get a little can of uh, Copenhagen under. Yeah. It. <clears throat> At least they didn't get the big one together. What is that? A dog. I mean, look, man, it's March. Nemesis Chris D'Elia, so I can't fucking support the shit. But <laughs> at the same time, I love it that you and your girlfriend care about each other. Three months. When you know, you know. Yeah. Life rips. It's a giraffe. Ooh, Ooh. that's <laughs> that's drippy. I'm down for that. I don't see a lot of giraffe tattoos. Yeah, I like that raft, bro. <laughs> yeah. You know? Sweet raft, bro. Uh, yeah, sweet, <laughs> sweet raft, dude. You should get a stretch on the other one, dude. Hell get an yeah. ostrich on there. You're jealous of long necks, dude. You got that limited neck. That's Damn. true. I've never been able to look that far around. Watch this. <laughs> no movement, really. Limited, they said. Limited. 40%. Yeah. You get an owl tattoo. And decreasing, the woman said. <laughs> that crazy? Got to hit that physical therapy, dog. I, that's who said it. <laughs> get us a band and, you know. I'll call, hey, uh, text your boy long neck. Give, let him give you some neck. He's doing drugs, I think, and he's been. Oh. He really just started got into pornography. It seems like. <laughs> you know what? Not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I try. I, I try to give him some words. Say, man, you could do something exciting, bro. You know, do a special, uh, you know, ruler or something. You know, do something <laughs> unique that nobody else can do. Do something that stretches your neck out. A device that stretches other people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> neck a scarf up, bro. collection. Yeah, a scarf. A real nice, mm -hmm. like, ooh, you know, a slinky collection. Oh yeah. Yeah. Could you imagine the scarves he could sell or slinkies he could have sold? Mm -hmm. Really, <laughs> real missed opportunity. And yeah. then he can collab with Thick Neck. They Next did a collab. All sizes. Oh, they did do a collab. But Supreme Patty allegedly like screwed him out of a bunch of money before he went to jail. <laughs> it's a dark <laughs> web, bro. It's a very dark web. It, look, man, let me tell you this, dude. It gets pretty dark. Yeah, that, that is the dark web. Over there. <laughs> this is the like this is the level after this level of King of the Sting. It gets pretty dark out there. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of Chuck E. Cheese meetings. Yeah. So we're in the shallow end of the dark arts over here. Them boys went full deep end. Yeah, dude, yeah. they are. Yeah, they're drowning. So yeah, eighty-seven percent didn't like these tattoos, man, and mm. that's unbelievable. And here's a guy right here who's in the program. <laughs> <laughs> what step do you think he's on? Uh, I bet he's been in probably about seven or eight years. This guy looks like my brother a little bit, actually. No, it doesn't. No, I've, seen, I've, I've seen your brother. Yeah, it doesn't look. That like, look like your brother. <laughs> who does he look like, though? Hey, what's up, guys? This looks like Chris Lee and Brian Callen. If you kind of mix them together, maybe. <laughs> he looks like Lovato Jr. a little bit. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Hmm. Demi Lovato Jr. <laughs> Rafael? No. World up, guys. This is Casey from Los Angeles. Had a little king and her stinger for you. Uh, I know Eddie on the last fight companion went a little uh, Def Jack Russell. Um, Def Jack. So I just wanted to throw it out there. Rat King on the next fight companion. King and her sting it. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz, young man. I would love it. I'd love for you to be on there. Be, doesn't he look like L L Lovato Jr. right there? Oh, yeah, he does. There you go. Another one. Another one. Um, yeah, I would did. love if Theo uh, came on the fight campaign. Rogan likes the original crew, though. I tried getting Joey Diaz on, too, you know? He just likes the original four. Yeah, I think if you have something good that works. I mean, I would love to go on. You know, I don't know enough about fighting, I don't think. I don't know. I mean, like, we talked three minutes about fighting. The rest is about random shit that you and I talk about. So I think you'd be just fine. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it would and be. And you know Dustin Poirier, so it might get your foot in the door. Yeah. It'd be fun, but yeah, I don't know. I watch the fights. Usually, I text Nick and ask who to bet on, and then I lose some money, and then I go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a nice night. Kind of how I do it. You have? Did you give him uh, Walt Harris over Overeem? Uh, no, I stayed that, away from that one because uh, I was like, I, I thought over that's an easy pick, man. I thought Overeem would win, but I didn't want to bet against the guy whose daughter got murdered. I felt I felt conflicted. That's I fine. went th I went three and one. I thought I got lucky on Cheeto Vera. I thought. Or I unlucky. I thought he won, he but then won. but then I won on Ige, and I thought he lost. So I went three and one. That's fine. That's really good. There were some fun fights. I'm though. amazed tough to bet on, dude. I'm amazed the tough sport to bet on. I'm Shep. obsessed. Five and seven since yeah, like return you. from 
pandemic. Five and seven? Yeah. Not, not great. It was a bloodbath last week. <laughs> you should have fun. I like uh, Damage right there. I like your boy Damage, Elkins. Darren Elkins? Yeah, that dude. That boy took some damage. He reminds me of every every dude in my neighborhood, but now as an adult. <laughs> really? A hundred percent, Still fighting? Man. Yeah, Shady Five. Like, just people who got yeah. that kind of tattoo. He's a stud, man. Like, somebody would come and be like, hey, man, look, I got the guy from Monopoly on my back, and it took literally <laughs> seven weeks to do it, and somebody done it with a needle and, like, a <laughs> blotter. got thing. it done. Yeah, yeah, and barely got it done. And then the guy would be sick for, like, four years because he had, <laughs> like, a, you know, a blood thing. Blood but thing. what else do we got here? We got somebody right here. <laughs> Look at Thick this shirt. Filet. How are you not selling these shirts, Brenda? There's too many copy kids. What's up, guys? Chilling in Seattle, lifting in my garage. Quarantine bullshit. I know you know how it is. Uh, I got a king or sting for you. Stretch jorts. Good for lifting. Good for riding bikes. You know, whatever. <laughs> Brendan, I'll see you in Spokane next month. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. That boy had the quads. Looking like two wing stop drumsticks, bro. Oh, yeah. Ooh. The wings don't stop, bro. Yeah, they never stop. <laughs> Extra crispy. Those wings barely yield. <laughs> this guy, first of all, there is a six year old who's missing his clothes right now. Yeah, from I, the shorts to the top. It's oh, too tight, my man. God. You can be thick, but you don't have to let the whole world know, dude. Yeah, I've, ne- I've heard of a shoehorn, but I've never heard of a shirt horn. <laughs> I can't. How do you even get into that? Sure, dude. If he turns around, it's going to look like Beyonce putting on some jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea of jorts, though. Oh, I love jorts. I want to get some. <laughs> How you can be for jorts but against fucking uh, fanny packs? Well, they go together, dude. I'm not there like yet. Like peanut butter and jelly. I'm not. One step at a time, dude. Yeah. Step into the shallow end. Let's both get some jorts. Yeah. <laughs> they make all the sense. Dude, why now, don't, they don't have to be that tight, though. Why don't we have King in this thing jorts? Good idea. Yeah, and on the pocket it says buzz, buzz, gang, gang. Oh, <laughs> That's going to lead to a lot of prison sex, I feel like. Hey, man, whatever, you know, whatever gets the job done. Yeah, right? dude. Um, what do they think about jorts and stuff like that in Ireland? Do they have? Nah. How's the fashion out there? Shamed out of, How's the fashion in Ireland? We like scarves and stuff. We don't like jorts. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, a lot of scarves, a lot of hats, but yeah. not like hat like a lot of like paperboy hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or pea coat jackets. Yeah. We, we all dress the exact same. You have to wear like black shoes getting into a pub or a club. Sometimes if you forget black shoes, you your friend gives you black socks and you put them on over your white shoes. <laughs> and then you walk oh, back home. Move, it's pretty man. cool. <laughs> this, guy, this guy needs my advice for him just go one size up in everything so if, you, <laughs> so if you're like oh I think I wear a medium get the large dude but also double X you know yeah. don't wear medium yeah yeah the jorts I think are oh, kind of alright looking on this and gentleman summer is coming dude let's do it some, you have an old pair of jeans? We could make our own I'm not making my own jorts <laughs> I'll make you dude. some jorts dude bring some of your fucking old jeans around Brendan has to have a lot know, of jorts. Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I celebrate him, dude. Get the thighs out. Sun's out, thighs out, son. I mean, I'm willing to put my legs out. I just don't want to. I don't you got know. That, you got that peach popping out the back. <laughs> like, oh, damn. That's fucking Cardi B. Nope, it's Theo. <laughs> dude. Uh, Theo. <laughs> Dustin Poirier the other day, he goes, uh, he said, I'm going to get you and Keith Peterson to fight at 165. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the ref with the yeah, neck yeah, tattoos? Yeah. <laughs> the ref who looks just like Nick Swartzen, who basically, <laughs> there's no doubt that Nick Swartzen will play Keith Peterson <laughs> in a biopic. Can you bring up some pictures of these guys, Nick? I'd rather see you and Keith Peterson. Yeah, I want to see you and Keith Peterson fucking fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he does, Nick Swartzen. Yeah, dude, that would be if Nick Swartzen. I'll tell you what, I don't want my ref, uh, I don't want my life in his hands if he has a neck tattoo. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> There's been some t- bad ideas. I think you do, man. Dude, I'd rather see you and Keith Peterson in a spelling bee than a fight. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. And sometimes why, baby? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let's see if they got Nick Swartzen in there. Yeah, Nick definitely looks like him a little bit. Enough, huh? Yeah, that picture right there to the right and the yeah, uh left of that one. Yeah. This one? Uh or actually the one you had chosen is good. He looks a, he looks a little like him. I can see it. It's all right. Yeah, see that? Uh, a little yeah. bit. Put some yeah, tattoos yeah, on, like, shave his head. Imagine Nick was your ref in an actual fight. Oh my god. <laughs> I'd be stressed, bro. 
Yeah, I was stressed. Oh, so Imagine fun. if you got into a ring for a real fight, Brandon, and the ref was just some fucking too far. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Does that ever, did that ever happen where you would get in sometimes and you would look at the ref? My like, wrestler always, I always had like uh, Big John or I had Herb Dean or, you know, because when they're heavyweights, they usually have the good refs there. But like Dominic Cruz said, when that Keith dude came in the back, he was like, can, is there any way I can veto this? The guy has a fucking neck tattoo. Yeah. No way. like alcohol and cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> now, am I saying he's on alcohol and cigarettes? No. Those are Dominic Cruz's words. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Keith Pitching would deliver a Chuck E. Cheese pizza in here right now. I have no fucking clue who he is, you know? Yeah. But he's uh, a Dominic, Dominic Cruz was like, dude, can I get a different ref? But the commission's like, no, nah, this is who you were assigned, man. Keith Peterson's a legend, man. I think he he's my favorite ref. I think you're loose on the term legend. Really? Yeah. I think you're, I think you're very loose on the term legend. Dude, he's no nonsense, man. And nobody else ha- is that. Uh, you've never seen Herb Dean. Is he nonsense? You've never seen Big John. Well, they're the best of the best. Yeah. Keith Peterson's just a guy. Those other guys are like, they've been doing it forever. He learned from them, I would imagine. Yeah. Easy on the term legend, though, you know? All right. What else you got? Well, what was the last one we got to do? What was the last one we just did? It was jorts. Oh, yeah, jorts. Oh, I'm all for jorts. Me and Theo, we're going to start the movement now. The summer's finally hitting. Let the jorts hit. Get your cheeks out, dude. They're always I mean, out. No, they're not, man. You're it's horrible. Them. Hide them. I keep getting jorts ads on Instagram, <laughs> and it's making me I'm like, what? how is my life? What have I done wrong? <laughs> that all my ads are for jorts. Dude, get those whitey legs out, bro. Get <laughs> them whitey wide. bulger legs out for <laughs> us. Yeah, Dude, you got a couple of dead left <laughs> limbs under, yeah. your li- under your pants, bro. Get them John Stockton's out for the fam, dog. <laughs> yeah, bro. bro, John Stockton had some gams on him, didn't hey, he? Did. Wow. Um, what if you see a man's leg and they got short shorts on? Cat, how does that resonate with you? Is that a does it depend on the leg? Um, I think it really <laughs> depends on the confidence. The legs do make a difference. Tell like that guy was just rocking it. He didn't care that it was too tight on him. But his legs were juicy, so but, it was not bad. Yeah, exactly. If you got it, flaunt it. Yep. He had huge legs. He had the freaking those wet markets. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. There. I have My a boy looked like a squad of fucking Chuck E. Cheese right now. Oh, dude. dude. I'm telling you, I got these wet markets, bro, because I'm hiding this bat. You feel yeah. me? Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Doug. We're, we're going to hell, man. No, we're not. Those yeah, we are, are, Brendan. I've time. watched most of the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> One time I was all right. I was in an Irish hospital, and I was getting like an STD check. And they had me like my pants down, penis out, the whole shebang. And the nurse was like, do you mind if I bring in some uh, trainee students? She brought in like four women. I was texting one of them at the time. Oh, wow. And I was like, oh, hi. And I'm just <laughs> naked from the waist down. But she knew what you were working thighs. with. But yeah, it was like tiny. She saw that Irish it snake. A, it was a cold day. Wow. It was the worst. <laughs> Uh, she that was Gardner leaving. snake, man. What are the odds of that? I was like, I'll text you later. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Wait, yeah, text me with the results. <laughs> <laughs> but ever since, my legs have been hidden away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah people with real white legs always hide them, man. <laughs> yeah. That's like Theo on the glass. Can, That's like me. Can you legs. tan or no? Oh, yeah. I, I have a good tan. I just couldn't be bothered. Wow, I, I find that hard to believe. No, uh, no. I'm beautiful with a tan. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah, stunning. <laughs> Wow. Wow. All right. Yeah. All right, damn, Doug. Love the confidence. <laughs> what do you yeah. got, Nick? Another deba- uh, debate club. What up, guys? I'm from Glasgow. Yes. Or Glasgow, I still would call it. Guns are illegal here, so I strap up with that gun dog. <laughs> <laughs> King of the sting, boys. Dogs in a harness. That oh. little hound on your chest. Wow! Shout out Glasgow. It's it's <laughs> kind of, it's kind of like Cat was saying with legs. You can wear Georgia if not le- if you have nice <laughs> legs. You can sport a nice fresh pup on your chest if it's a cute pup. Don't put them little ugly pugs on your chest and shit, man. Or get or, or if with you got legs like that. Yeah. Or, or you got a Boston Terrier with his dick out. And it's, fucking, <laughs> oh, yeah. it's like, hey, what are you doing, yeah. man? Or you got a wiener dog and like half of it's hanging, <laughs> hanging off your thigh. It's like, damn, bro. Get that thick husky on your chest, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. But you only see people doing small dogs. I would like to see somebody with a fucking rock and a Great Dane, you know? Yeah, get that fucking lab on your chest, son. <laughs> that full chocolate lab, dude. Yeah, quit being a little hoe, dog. Yeah, Make it tough, man. Build up them thighs. Get some jorts. Yeah, man. Get throw them jorts on. And get you a little... Don't get you like a little Pomeranian. 
Nah, that's some bitches, man. Yeah. Get that British bulldog. Get that English bulldog just hanging off your chest, <laughs> drooling down your thighs. Get one dog. on each hip, dude, like Farts. guns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they don't have, do they have the little dogs like they do in the U.S.? Do they have those in Ireland? Not, yeah, terriers, but not You the, have, oh, what, Stratfordshire terriers? Yeah, but like, yeah. it's usually big ones, Labradors or St. Bernard's. I don't know what the fuck they are. I never, had, I never had a dog. You started naming dogs. No, my my aunt had a dog. He used to chase me and my brother around the house, and she's like, "He's only having fun." We're like, "He's trying to bite us." What kind of dog was it? It was a cocker spaniel. Oh yeah, Damn, I bro, figured you get that more exotic dogs dude, over there. I, every time I give him the spaniel, before I give him the cock. <laughs> spaniel first, it's cock a, always comes last. It's, dog. it's one, it's cocker spaniel dog. One or the other, baby. I, I'm still afraid of dogs, though. My brother like ran into a sliding door, like a glass door, bust his face open. The Glasgow smile. Doctor at the yeah, come like stitch them all together. Fuck. So oh. now if I see a dog barking, I just that run. I think it's your brother, really, that sees you. I don't know if that's a dog. <laughs> I don't know if it's the dog. Your yeah. brother ran in a glass door. <laughs> it's kind of respectable. It sounds like the Irish Olympics. <laughs> uh, what was he asking? Uh, King it or sing it, dogs and harnesses. Oh, king it. But it has to be the right kind of dog. Don't be putting them little bitch dogs on your chest, man. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing a Great Dane, a Husky, a Chow. I used to share a room with a Chow. <laughs> Not an Asian guy like a, a one of the <laughs> dogs. Well, it's an Asian dog, saying. so it's close. Is it really? Yeah, Chow Chows. Dude. Oh, my God. They are they're violent. Oh, they're one of the <laughs> most violent. aggressive dogs, really? man. Violent. They look like little teddy bears. Yeah. Dude, strap a King Corso to your chest. See how yeah. it goes for you, man. Yeah, yeah. Carry that 200-pound animal around, yeah. dog. Yeah, do some work, man. Yeah, let him carry oh, you, too. Switch off. <laughs> look you're like that. a woman with big breasts. Those things are big. <laughs> you got to, like, feel, ah, oh, now I empathize with women. Oh yeah, with that, big, with that big dog titty. <laughs> Look at this chow man. Wait, they're violent. Chow, chows are mean. Oh, yeah, they're yeah, notoriously they're known. They're aggressive. They, they bite more people than pit bulls. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, they'll pretend they're sleeping, and when you try to leave the room to pee, they'll fucking bite <laughs> you. Mm -hmm. I think that's more of a you problem now, Theo, than the dog. Well, yeah, I shared a room. I rented a room at University of Arizona from a guy off that. Uh, and your roommate was a chow. And I got there, and he said the only problem with this room, you have to. Sh my dog stays in here. So every night, bro, it would be so scary. <laughs> oh, they stink too, right? Huh? They stink too. I didn't smell them. I just lived near it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's this little thirst trap one? What do you want to know? Judd Apatow's next high school movie? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> we'll close it out with uh, relationship advice. What's up, Tits McGee? What's up, Brendan? Uh, I wanted to get a little relationship advice from you guys. So this past quarantine, I've just been staying at my girlfriend's house um, and her grandma lives with her and her grandma will not stop hitting on me. Like she's clearly trying to make some moves. Mm -hmm. And I was just wondering, like, I don't want to be disrespectful to her. She's very old and like my girlfriend loves her, obviously. Mm -hmm. So how do I like, you know, tell her what's up without, you know, disrespecting her and my girlfriend? Dude, get that bitch a full That's all I was wondering. I hope you guys can help out. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Gang, bro. Old ladies need dick too, man. Get, get them what? Old, what? What? Get, dude, get, what? Well, that's Brandon? what's going on here, dude. She's thirsty for this young 21 Jump Street fella. You feel me? Get, get her some Teddy Grahams, dude. Get her some Graham Crackers. Them old ladies like Graham Crackers. Gotta keep her pipe down. Keep her busy, dude. Keep her busy. Get her crossword puzzles, dude. Yeah, I think uh, that's good. Re record suggestion. Jerry Springer's. Old Jerry Springer's. Bitches love that. Them old bitches love that. Graham Crackers, <laughs> Jerry Springer. What's up, dude? Grandma ain't gonna be worried about your cock. She's gonna be worried about Jerry Springer, dude. I don't. I mean, I think. Uh, I don't know if she's worried about his cock, Brendan. I think she's just hitting on him a lot. Uh, you know what? It sounds like it sounds like Grandma's lonely. Okay. Yes. Maybe just hang out. Maybe sign her up on uh, Wrinkles.com or the fuck they have for old people dating apps. I feel like my hair's getting messed up. Um, it's always messed up. You're fine. Okay. I want to know. I want to let this young man know. First of all, dude. Um, what cheap young man is shacking up with his girlfriend and her grandmother during quarantine or any teen, okay? I don't yeah. think it's ever a good time to go live with your girlfriend and her grandmother. Never. Uh, especially if the grandmother... <laughs> Unless the grandma's cooking and doing laundry and stuff and you're eating at 3 o'clock, it's your last meal of the day. She goes to bed around 4 Dude, yeah, being caged in, in it. I think you got to get a job, man. You got to get out and about. I think you need to establish a little bit. Dude, if you don't have a place and your girl's staying there, man, and the role is that you're over at your girl's place, then you get what you get, bro. You yeah, know what like I'm grandma, saying? Give grandma a little sneak peek. It's the last thing you do from 
fucking feeding off all their groceries and shit. Yeah, do That's it. your rent, son. Flirt with the grandma. She's not going to do anything. Yeah. She not have any teeth. Yeah, dude. Damn, dude. Yeah, tickle that old back strap, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? Yeah, give her a back rub, you fucking pedophile. <laughs> yeah, God, dude. Damn, Quit dude. milling around the house, <laughs> leeching off of a woman and her ill grandmother or semi-ill sexually motivated <laughs> grandmother. Yeah, that lonely grandma. Give her a back rub, toss her in that fucking hot tub, dude. She'd have a great time. Yeah, you know who's not in your situation? Young men who have their own apartment, okay? <laughs> yeah, young men who have their shit together. Yeah, dude. Yeah, get your shit in two hands and then go like this, Put it bro. Together, dude. <laughs> Done, son. Yeah, I think you got to freaking take some ownership, man. You get what you what you allow yourself to get. Yeah, man. dude, buy a box set of Golden Girls and tell her to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Damn. I wouldn't do that. I would get the set and say, "Thank you guys for letting me live here." Or that, you know, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Theo said it better. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what you better be doing, you little fuckers, wearing a mask. Them old people are dying left and right. If anyone should be worried about COVID, it's probably this grandma. That's why she's hitting on you. That's a good point. Maybe this she's is on a- heaven's doorstep, ready to get the fuck out of this world, dude. Yeah. And you're out here, little thirst trapping, meeting people, <laughs> not wearing a mask. Yeah, she's probably trying to get you to pop, hop into that slick hyphen one more time before she leaves the earth. <laughs> so I think you got to look, man, do work or get out, man. Yeah, But dude. whining to us ain't going to help anybody, Yeah, don't bro. hate the wrinkles, bro. We got enough of our own problems. We're trying to kill each other in a car accident. Yeah, <laughs> and then we're trying to see if one of us can go to prison for life over it. And you got problems because grandma's yeah. being sweet, open her arms. God damn, dude, get your life together. Yeah, dude. It is together. <laughs> it looks like he stole the granddad's Great clothes. <laughs> like yeah. the way he dresses looks he like an old man. Weird. Maybe it's the granny being like, ah, oh, this is this is uh, this is Jerry, my husband. She might just be lonely as fuck, man. What do now in you guys' cultures? What kind of stuff? Would, do, what, what do grandmothers? Do they have a? You feel like a stronger position than they do here in America? You guys take culture? more care of them, right, Kat? Oh yeah. oh yeah, Asians are very family oriented. And you also, your grandma's lived at 200, so there's Yes, that. absolutely. They're going to be around forever. So you better get used to it. Yeah, you got to get used to it. Chin, you take care of your grandmas and shit still? Yeah, our grandma used to live with us. And then she was, just, just like you said, she's a smoker, drinker, smoke every day, like constantly. Amen. She didn't die from that. She got hit by a car. Amen, That's how she passed brother. away. She was like very, very late in her. Dark episode. Who was driving? <laughs> Who was driving the car and who was in the passenger seat? <laughs> and who went to jail? Yeah, yeah, was she drinking and did you agree to get in the car and then she wrecked? No, but by the way, the person that drove was Mexican. Wow. Was it Uber? No. Then it, there was no Uber back then. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, oh, it was a taxi? No, it was just a car. No, it was just a car. It was just a person. Oh, she was crossing the street and a Mexican she, dude hit her. She was by a bus stop. Oh, uh, that's wow. why you said Canadians or Mexicans. Makes and that's how sense. she passed away? That's how she passed away. Oh, my Jeez. God. <sighs> That's so Irish, I feel like. It's like an Irish car bomb. (laughs) Also known as Frogger. How old was she? I think she was in, like, late 70s, early... Early 80s. And that's wow. young for Asian. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's, she's that's just getting started. It's yeah. late high school. Yeah, that was dude. like half of her life. Yeah. She's <laughs> just getting started. She was just getting started. So sad. Smoked constantly. Never Chain didn't smoker. have a smoke. Yeah. Never, and never and, and I'm cigarette. just spitballing ideas here. We're in the circle of trust. Would she chain smoke and then play the slots? <laughs> I don't think we ever took her to a casino. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That's but if you did, she probably would. 100%. To be fair. Mm-hmm. You don't chain smoke and not play the slots. Mm-hmm. She barely lived. I know. Well, she lived a crazy life, but. How crazy. Whatever. Drinking and smoking all the time. Sounds like she lived. And she was strong, too. Was she? Very strong. She sounds what, strong. What'd she bench? I don't think she's ever benched anything. You don't bench but she kept like... picking up stuff all the time. Yeah. Carrying stuff around the house. Yeah. <laughs> Moving our bikes. How strong? Very strong. How strong? I would say if, if I was her age, I wouldn't be as strong as her. You want strong? Meet me at 240, son. <laughs> <laughs> there's a difference. There's grandma house strong, and then there's weight room strong. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> I'd like to see your grandma bench 315. What's up, dog? <laughs> uh, Mark, what about grandparents in Ireland? What is that? Uh, what is they it just like? stick around the house. There's no. I, I've never seen them in an old folks home renting. They don't do that shit. No, Only in America. stay in the farm. But then they're driving. They're like 84 driving. Yeah. Just crashing yeah. into people. But they're not going fast enough, you know? Yeah. Driving tractors, out milking cows. It's and weird. there's a lot of respect for the old people there? Oh, yeah, they? big time. Oh, yeah. Because they have good stories, too. But then oh, they're yeah. like, their teeth will pop out, and you're just like, okay. You have some knowledge, <laughs> man. Oh, yeah. Story. Is your grandma, grandpa still alive? Mm-mm. I, I got one grandma alive. That's it. Oh, yeah? What is she like? She's about 300 pounds. 
Uh, really? She used to hide Snickers under her bed. Oh, yeah. My yep. favorite. She swims every day, even now. She's mm. like 98 or 99. She what? swims Dude. every day. Oh, wow. She's 300 pounds, swims every what? day. Mm -hmm. Since I've known her, she swims every single day. What does she bench? Probably about 275. <laughs> what does she swim in? The pool? Uh, in, a, in, in the one piece. At the YMCA, She's though? respectable. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. YMCA, she ain't in a bikini. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I don't know. She's just dude. swimming in jorts. She's not. <laughs> she's in that one piece, son. <laughs> Bro, what if we come out with water jorts? <laughs> I'm all about jorts in general. Dude, I really am too, man. I I think everything's headed that direction. Uh, Less because, clothes. Yeah, well, it's just like more comfort. Mm -hmm. It's like people are wearing comfortable stuff everywhere now. You know, like it used to be people were in business suits and stuff. And now people, especially coming out of quarantine, what's it going to be like? Uh, everyone's in sweats these days. People are going to be wearing a hammock. Even when you go to the airport, I'm like, dude, does this look like your fucking bedroom? Put some clothes on, man. Don't yeah. be wearing sweats all the time at the airport, man. Yeah. It's your little pride. You know what would be a good look? That's why we're going to sell jorts. Yep. For the board of E, jorts and scarves, nothing else. Ooh, now you're that. talking to two of you. I could see that George and Scar. You should be worried with the George, man. You're not telling out the front sometimes. Mm. Yeah, that pressure. Yep. You know? The boys got to get out. Um, well, have New King and the Sting merch, too. It should be out maybe end of this week. So, We've been working uh, hard on it. Yeah, check out on Instagram for that. And American Made. American Made. So we're excited about that. So if you don't like America, then probably not for you. Yeah. <laughs> Canada versus Mexico. Mm -hmm. God, that one still tears me The real me war. Up. Yeah, the real war. The, the war of King and the Sting. World War I for us. Mm -hmm. Where we hold it, probably. Ireland. <laughs> New, neutral, neutral ground. Neutral ground. <laughs> Fight island. <laughs> you guys would love it in Ireland if they held yeah. it there, wouldn't they? We need events. We need something to cheer us up. God, dude, I think it would be a great battle. I think Canada's going to become the new America. I mean, I think so many people are going to start moving to Canada in the next 20, They're, they're years. locked down more than we are. Well, I just think just for overall, just for the vibe of the culture, I mean, I feel like it's still... I feel a, like you need to get off Canada's nuts for a second. What? God damn, dude. You've cool. been on their nuts. The only reason I was able to get on was because you just stepped off of them. That's fair. <laughs> dude, it's a one-seater on their nuts, man. That's fair. I'm on Mexico's nuts now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Olay. <laughs> uh, what do we got here, Nick? That's it. What is this? Uh, we just put a poll for our hypothetical. If Brendan drove drunk with you in the car, you knew he was drunk and you died. Should th uh, should Brendan go to prison? Seventy two percent say yes. Seventy two percent of people don't take personal responsibility. I think. Yeah. Oh, nice. Which is why they probably celebrate the lockdown too. Take a little pride. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it's like I think overall, it's like everything. We all we all have to take more responsibility. But I also, don't say that Brendan and Theo were both drinking. They decided to get in the car. Brendan was the driver. That would have been the way should have right. Right. Yeah. worded it. Because this looks like Brendan's drinking, picked up Theo, crashed. Theo died. Oh, but yeah. Theo knew you were drunk. Or you were in it. You're assuming that. I put Theo was. Can read. I, uh, <laughs> oh, that's a good point. Should Brendan go to prison? <laughs> well, then polls are a tough sell. I polls guess. are tough, dude. <laughs> um, that should be the other poll. The next poll is should Brendan go to prison? <laughs> no 99% <laughs> 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 say yes. I would no thrive context. in there. <laughs> Start a uh, bike club in there, too. Hell yeah. Bike club. Prison bike, bike club. <laughs> yeah. Got my two miles in on the yard. <laughs> round and around. <laughs> Only had an hour, two miles. <laughs> they just have one bike. They're all sharing it. Fuck. Do they have two-seater bikes in Ireland? Mark? Peloton yeah. Bay. Yeah, not yeah. really. It's too fancy. Two-seater bicycles. Yeah, Boy, too there fancy. ain't nothing gayer than a two-seater bike. You Maybe a banana seat. You can't be fancy in Ireland. People will mock you straight away. Really? Oh, straight. If you... If you wear a hat, they'd be if like, you oh, peacock a little bit. you're homosexual, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, I suppose so. Yeah. Sorry, but that father. Connor's Irish, and they, they go pretty hard in the paint for him, and he's a stylish dude. Yeah, but a, a lot of people don't like him either. Well, yeah, he's made some mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> so it's it's very split. Yeah. A lot of Still the most famous guy to come out of Ireland. Oh, yeah. By far. Is yeah. he? Oh, yeah. No, I don't think so. You think Name so? One more, name a more Bono? famous person. Bono? Who? Bono? Bono, you too? Yeah. Probably for our parents' right now. Sure. Yeah, McGregor. 
You you two lost me when they forced me to and they fucking download the entire bullshit album to my playlist. Remember when they did that? Yeah, like, and it was so hard to fuck? get rid of. Yeah, you couldn't get rid of it. No, you can't slander you two with me here. Colin Farrell's pretty big. <laughs> I can't believe the the best band in the world gave you no, I, I a like, free I, album. No, I, I like. <laughs> well, it was a <laughs> shit album. I like I like you two. Robert De Niro's Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't He's got weird. He's in the Irishman. Oh, we got Colin Farrell too, I suppose. Colin Farrell. Colin Farrell. Liam Neeson, Liam bro. Liam Neeson. Now that's yeah. huge. Liam Neeson. Have you ever seen the thing? Liam Neeson pisses his pants in public and doesn't care. I heard he just has a... There's hilarious pictures of him. I, just, I heard he has, has an uncontrollable hog. <laughs> yeah, just, you should. That's what they you say. You should Google Liam Neeson pissing pants. He just peed his pants? But he's just out in public with a, with a date. Re- remember, is, re- re- didn't he get in trouble? Uh, he was doing promotion for... Damn. <laughs> That, you know, dude, you know how gangster that is to have to pee so oh, bad. And you're just like, dude, I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna piss my pants. I'm in taken. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's what a, what a move. What a move. Yeah. What an alpha move. <laughs> but did somebody just edit that in, or is no, that no, real? No, piss? no he pissed his pants. You know, he used to box too. He's like a real tough guy, and he's like six five. Bro, I remember one time I went to this thing called Beta Breakers in San Francisco, and they had it was like a race, like people racing on their feet. And um, and uh, and me and my friends took a bunch of mushrooms and went out there. Mm-hmm. And they, shoot, hold on a second. I know what I'm talking about. They had uh, you could no, no, no hold on. Okay. Yeah. And they, people were. Oh yeah, and so I was taking pictures. People would come up and want to take a photo or something. Of you? Yeah, and so I would take one, but I would keep my penis out during the photo. I would take <laughs> it out right during the photo because I had on like some. Uh, hey, those were the good days. I had on some cool glasses or something. Um, and so yeah, this is when people had cameras, right? And they didn't know, right? Yeah, no idea. <laughs> so then I'd be taking a picture there with some guy and just having my junk hanging out. Man. Classic. It was oh, it was like the best a, day of my a life. Me too, that's a Me Too movement in 2020. Then, oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. then we took over. We, we got in the race, and somebody had deserted a water table where they were handing out water because it's like a 20-mile run. Like yeah. a lot of people do serious. It's a marathon. Yeah, and then some people just do uh, costumes and stuff. So we took over a water table. Somebody had left, and we're, people were running by, and like, and we were like, no, uh, it's for Asians only. That's what we would say. <laughs> so you'd have people run up, like white people, and they couldn't stop to argue because they had to keep going because they're in this huge <laughs> race. Kind of time. Yeah. Asians only, keep yeah. it moving. Like, Asians only, man. Sorry, as soon as Asians only. Like, <laughs> what a yes. shit show. Oh, bro, we were on mushrooms all day. We had so much fun, man. That oh. sounds fun. It was so How good. long ago was that? Last year? No, it was probably about four, probably 14 years ago. Oh, you're ago, good man. then. You're in the clear. That sounds yeah. like an Irish trick. You yeah. like If you were at a pub drinking and your friend would be like to a girl, he'd be like, oh, do you want to see my APAC? And she's like, okay. And she'd lift up his top and his testicles would just be hanging Oh, <laughs> yeah. Y'all some gays, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't mind and it, but y'all like, some gays. <laughs> that ain't gay, bro. The nuts ain't gay, bro. The wiener's gay, yeah. bro. <laughs> Your nuts aren't. If you had that submarine peeping up the top, oh, all <laughs> yeah. gay, man. Yeah, you I remember right, I was bro. in a nightclub one time in Ireland, and I was dancing with a girl, and I was getting too turned on, and I was like, oh, shit. And I, like, tucked it up, and I was drunk and dancing, and she lifted up my top. <laughs> and everyone was just like, his dick. <laughs> Why do His people? Dick. Why do people hide their wieners so much? That's what I'm understanding. Because well, you can't have that thing popping out, bro. It's just so crazy, though. It's just a stupid wiener. Yeah, but like I, even if even if I was at that club and your dick came out, I'd just be like, oh damn. <laughs> but I wouldn't bring a tent. I'd be like, oh damn, this dick popping out the top. We've all been there. For yeah. me, I was in sixth grade, man. I was in sixth grade and I had this dime piece next to me. I used to just get them. <laughs> Uncontrollable oh, bone, like I could, yeah. dude. That thing was gonna explode. I miss all that. Oh, I miss it, and I would just take that thing and crank it to the yeah. top. Crank that. Crank sucker. it. <laughs> crank Some it. Sometimes I'd have to get a buddy to come over and help me push it over to the side. Yeah, I me mean, too. Just fucking. <laughs> I sometimes I'd even have to tie it off around my leg. And then she'd be like, "Oh, you want to sharpen the pencils?" But like, not today. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. A hard pass so for scared. about fifteen minutes. <laughs> Now kids can't even, they don't even get boners. It's like a crime, I think, to get a boner. A <laughs> Apparently, if you, or, or if you get one, you got to talk about it. Yeah. Or they'll tie a rope around a kid and keep all the blood at the top of his body while he's in class. <laughs> Different times. Um, anything else we got, Nick? Mm-mm. That's it. I'm, ba- I'm going back on the road, Doug. Are you? I'll be that guinea pig for the comics. 
I'm in Houston next week. Those shows are sold out, but then I'm in Spoken end of June, and then Salt Lake City Wise Guys in July. Dang, congrats, 18, man. 20 July, Salt Lake City Wise Guys. Congrats. Mm -hmm. I'll probably be in jorts. Can't promise my dick won't <laughs> pop out. Especially after these talks. <laughs> And I'm getting my haircut tomorrow in a garage over there in Reseda. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Dude, and I got a barber if you need a legit guy to come to the crib. Yeah? Yeah, I got one. Dude, how good was Little Brows last week? Man? Oh, he was so good. Love him. Him and uh, Hannah Barron. Love them both. Oh, yeah, yeah, she was great. Everyone keeps asking me if we're going noodling. I'm like, yeah, we're, if we figure it out, I'm down. I'll noodle with her any day of the week. <laughs> I'd go over there. She's only five foot. It yeah, seems that so was dangerous. surprising. I feel like she gets some real grappling matches with some big catfish. Like, it's pretty evenly matched. Mm -hmm. I don't know the odds on her next outing, but. I don't know. I just, and how do we figure out the Canada versus Mexico? How do you figure that out? <laughs> I guess you have to wait till more wars happen. Yep. Mm -hmm. The only time would tell. I still like that Brendan went to Canada and he saw families Mexican. I live with all Mexicans, <laughs> dude. Yeah. We'll see if those if the walls get done. Yeah. Hey, that's what we love about this show, man. A lot of cliffhangers. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, thanks for coming, brother. Cheers, lads. Yeah, Thank you're you. the best. Brendan and Theo, fighter and wait. I gotta go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black rifle coffee, I'm ready to go. I need a sponsor. I am a monster. About to open up with this at my concerts. Flow is contagious. Brows are outrageous. Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous. Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto. Seeing red like Andrew Santino. Every song I hit like the great Bambino. Brendan ate the queso and the queso. Soritos, but everything's gonna be fine. Ay, hate on me, I do not mind. Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times. Yeah, they sliding into my DMs. A couple of you try but couldn't beat them. Quit playing like Nintendo DS. You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz. Uh, meaning y'all edible. Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible. Yeah. Brennan's son hit me up. He said it's too loud in the club. Can you pick me up? King and the sting. Shout out New Orleans and shout out to CO Colorado more specifically Boulder Brendan came in with a chip on his shoulder But it's still gold and yet it's still fire If you don't like King and his thing you're a liar Brendan's got like a thousand different hustles One of them's at Nordstrom Rack to win tires Black Rifle Coffee, we hear you loud and clear Your son on the email like please get me out of here It's way too loud in here Watching the Irishman eating pizza drinking half a beer Now on to Theo Vaughn Looking like the type of dude that tries to read a song Smoking cigarettes with a snap back on About to hit the crib and turn Snapchat on it's all good, we still mess with you. 1811 Pico Boulevard, go get that header. Derek and Cat, y'all doing great. Thursday upload, not a minute late. Y'all wanted to rap, I had to demonstrate. Brand new studio, y'all feeling great. Putting Chris Delano in his place. Now let's go and get Chinna Day. string oh, yeah.